Hello everyone, Andrew here. Today I would like to teach you how to do synthetic division of the polynomial function 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 4, and that function is being divided by x plus 3. So uh, in order to do synthetic division, we like to set up a little table to help us out. Take a look. Bam. So my first step is going to be to fill out this top row of my table. Now the term that goes here is going to come from your dividend, or it's the value here that's being divided into, okay, this polynomial. So in order to find the number that goes here, what we need to do is we need to find the zero of this polynomial, okay, linear polynomial. You should be dealing with linear polynomials here if you're doing synthetic division, okay? So what we would do then to set that up is we would literally say x plus three, is going to be equal to zero because what we're doing when we find the zeros, right? If you want to look back in the playlist, I have like, I don't even know, 30 something videos uh, about how to find these zeros of a function. All you want to do is you want to set this thing equal to zero. And what that will allow you to do is that will allow you to then calculate the X value of the function that makes it zero. So to solve this, you know, the simple math here, right? It's going to be X is equal to minus three. And what that means now is that at x is equal to negative 3, this particular polynomial, this right here, it could be considered a polynomial. Uh, it is a binomial specifically, uh, but we have a 0 at negative 3. So that's the value that gets plugged in here to the first spot, okay, negative 3. Now the values that get plugged in uh, for the remainder of the row are going to come from your div, uh, div uh, da, 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 divisor, right, 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 divisor. Oh boy. Aren't these terms great? divisor. So we look at the coefficients of each of the terms. If there's no coefficient there, remember that there's a one, okay? And that's a negative four. Take into account the signs. So the coefficient of the first term is going to be a positive three. Coefficient of the second term is going to be a negative two. Coefficient of the third term is going to be a positive one. And the fourth term is going to be a negative four. So now what you do, it's pretty much just routine from this point, okay? There's just a simple algorithm or aka series of steps that we have to follow uh, in order to find now the quotient, okay, which we're going to find here down at the bottom. So the first step is you're simply going to take whatever the first term here is, your first coefficient of your dividend, and just drop it straight on down. That's why I have a little red box there, okay? You're just going to bring the three on down. Then what you're going to do is you're now going to think multiplicatively. You're going to take this bottom uh, term, and you're going to multiply it into now, or not into, multiply it by the uh, first uh, factor there, okay, by the zero, so to speak. So three times a negative three is going to be a negative nine. What you then do from here is to find this term now, you're simply going to add this column up. So you can place, if you want, like a little plus sign here on the sides, okay? So now what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna add those two together and that comes out to be negative 11. Cool, then we're gonna repeat the process. You're gonna take this term, multiply it by this one, Two negatives make it positive, right? And that's gonna work out to be now positive 33. So when you take then a positive one and add it to 33, you get now 34, okay? Repeat the process again. You're gonna take this 34, right? This gets a little nuts here. Take the 34, multiply it by then the negative three, and what you're gonna work out, and what it's gonna work out to be is that should be, I think it should be 102, right? I might just do it on the side. Doing it in my head, might mess it up. I know it's probably going to be, ne I know it's going to be negative though. Um, and then that's going to be a one, two, nine. Yeah. One Oh two. Okay. So that's going to be negative one Oh two, uh, because it's a positive and a negative. So now all you have to do is add these two together and this should now work out to be now a negative 106. Okay. So we now have these coefficients, uh, of our quotient. This isn't the final answer. All right. Cause we actually have to find the polynomial quotient. But what you want to remember from here now is the last column here will always represent your remainder. Okay, your remainder. The column next to it will always represent your constant term or C. And then you, this is going to represent your X term. This is going to represent your X squared term and dot, 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 on and on and on. Okay. Now there's one other thing I want to mention here. Um, uh, the reason why these are going to represent now um, your coefficients, you don't have to do any other work is because the coefficient here of your x term in your divisor was a one. So there is one little step here at the end. You don't have to do it on this problem, but you should be aware of it. 
that um, if this was, let's say, a 2, what you would then have to do is you would then divide these terms, not the remainder, okay? You would divide your constant, your x, and your x squared term, and dot, 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 however many there are, by the value of 2, all right? By the value of that 2. And, or if it was a 3, it would be divided by 3, etc. Here you can clearly see, right, if I divide it by 1, who, who gives a darn, right? It's the same darn thing. So we're not going to do that. In any case, we're pretty much finished at this point. Okay, so to write this on out now, it's going to be 3x squared, 3x squared, minus 11x, minus 11x, plus 34, plus 34. And now with the remainder of negative 106, but remember, whenever you have these remainders, it's a minus, okay, because of the negative sign there. It's going to be 106 over then your divise or. So it has to be the x plus 3. Do not put it over just the negative 3. All right? And this is now technically the answer. Okay? That's how synthetic division helps you. I guess it helps. I don't know. I'd like to do the long division, quite honestly. But, uh, but you know, this is how you would use synthetic division in order to uh, help you find the quotient from the divisor being divided into the dividend. Right. Thanks for tuning in. I hope, really hope this helped. And if it did, if you don't mind helping us out by telling your friends, maybe some of your classmates, we'd love to help more people. And uh, we're so appreciative of all the support you've been showing us. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you in the next problem.